on this. We are here live, or not live, but at the Project Healing Waters stand, the fly fishing show. Can you give us a brief uh, description of what this is about? So Project Healing Waters is a nationwide organization, and it, uh, the main purpose is to serve in, in the rehabilitation uh, of disabled veterans. There's chapters all across the country. Thank you. And we will put a link to their website on below in the video. Thank you. And this is the fly that he tied that they are auctioning off. We got tickets for it because this is really cool. Get that really cool. It's a plaque. I'm on, oh, I'm on the witness relocation program. So <laughs> All right, I'll cut that part out. <laughs> Sometimes these phone cameras take forever to think. Yeah, you remember us talk, coming here yesterday, talking to you? I do. And for my viewers, there's a Frenchie without the ice dubbing. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. That guy went off on me. It's not a Frenchie. Fishing guide at Harmon's Luxury Lawn Cabins in wild, wonderful West Virginia. Harmon's has been in business since 1939, a family owned business. We have about two miles of private trophy trout water. We'll stock right at 10,000 pounds of trout annually. We have 18 cabins right on site on the water and two more cabins off site. We're the home waters for the highest rated fly fishing show on national TV, Fly Rod Chronicles with Curtis Fleming. Our cabins are all luxury accommodations. They all have their own private outdoor hot tub. The smaller cabins have an indoor jacuzzi tub as well. Gas fireplaces, flat screen TVs, Wi-Fi, and our mattress salesman tells me we have the same bedding as the Bellagio Hotel in Vegas. When you stay with us, your fishing is included. We do not charge any extra to fish, and only our guests are allowed to fish on our river. 
Bo Robinson with Catch Cam Nets. I'm the designer. Uh, about a year ago, I started the native fly fishing, and I was out in the waters fishing all the time by myself. And I couldn't think of a good way to get a good picture while I'm landing a fish, trying to get my net out and take a picture. So the net Catch Cam Nets was kind of designed out of necessity. Um, I duct taped a, a camera on my net for the first time, and then it kind of clicked. Like, man, there's there's a cool product here that uh, nobody's doing yet. So I own a woodworking shop, it's what I do full time, and I started bending my own nets, building my own wooden nets, and uh, one thing led to another, uh, I started working with some local machine shops, and uh, a friend of mine actually owned a mill, and we ended up working with some designs, and we finally came up with the final product here. Uh, we've got a shop in Grafton, West Virginia now, where we'll be mass producing these on uh, on a CNC lathe, and uh, we should have these on the market next month. We've been been in process for about a year now getting everything set up. All the handles unscrew so you can change out different lengths. Uh, we have over a thousand different patterns we can dip it on. Uh, we actually have our brook trout pattern coming out. This is the trout series. We have a guide series with a deeper bag and then we also have a musky series coming out right there. Okay, are you ready? Yep, <laughs> I'm good to go. Okay, it's called a knotty egg because it's tied out of a knot. And there's the knot. So it's a typical egg hook, it's a size 12. Just take your thread, start it in the middle of the hook. And you take your knot, 
face the knot in, it's a knot in and a tag in. Face the knot in forward right over those wraps. A couple wraps right behind the knot. A couple right in front. And then you go back below the tag end with a couple more wraps. Clip off the tag. Add a little bit of fluff, you just clean up with a couple wraps and that helps secure the knot onto the hook. Then you just pull the knot back, go right in front of it with a couple wraps to help pop it up on the hook. And that is it. Whip finish. Done. And then it's got all that hook gap, the egg sits right on top of the hook, so you get a lot of hookups. Um, it's got behavior, a lot of egg patterns don't move. This one moves a lot. Um, and it's got all those little nooks and crannies, light can get through it, so it's translucent, so it's got a lot of fish attracting ability on that little egg. That's it, naughty egg. Hey, I hope you liked our video of the show. We had a lot of fun. All the, the pro tires, like you see in that class right here at the end, of that guy showing us how to tie. We had, they all were really cooperative, really nice to us. The guy that ran the show let us record. I mean, we had more fun talking to the pro tires and walking around, talking to everybody. It, we, it was so nice. The show was such a, f a fun time. If you have one of these coming near you we will try and list all the where they're coming down below uh amongst all the people at this show you can see their links down below you just click on that link it'll take you right to their web so you can order them at them not um you can order anything that you've seen down here you could go to any of the um and i i recommend they were so nice and i recommend you check them out and definitely check out their links below and book trips with the the outdoor venture places and uh, and that net I am definitely hooking up with a net with a camera on it. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. Um, that's it. I think. Stay tuned for the next one, which is coming very soon, part two. And like that, always keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. Hey, welcome to the end of our video. Like always, you can catch our tying videos up in here, our fishing videos, a video just for you, and right here, you can subscribe and do. If you're watching this for us for the first time, please subscribe. It helps us get sponsors. It helps us, uh, the more subscribers we get, the more deals we can offer you, the more bigger companies we can go to and try and get them discount codes to save you money.